It's finally happening. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Well, I hope you're ready for some tech news because it's coming, baby, and we got a lot of information to go over today, so let's not waste any time. Let's talk about that first bit of information, which is actually about an upcoming NVIDIA video card. That's right, we got even more coming out from NVIDIA, but the question is, is this thing gonna be overpriced? Of course it's gonna be overpriced, but the question really is how much will it be overpriced? And honestly, we can only speculate about that once we take a look at this article, which originated from WCCF Tech, and according to them, they state, quote, alleged performance benchmarks of an NVIDIA GeForce RT 40 graphics card, that's right, it's not even RTX, based on the 8106 GPU have been leaked. And then they go on to state that apparently it could actually be nearly as fast as a 3070 Ti with 26% lower power draw, which is actually pretty good. However, we can see that they also go on to state that the name has not been finalized yet, but it does feature the full 8106 GPU with 4,608 CUDA cores and packs 8 gigabytes of memory, which means it should offer a 128-bit bus, which honestly, guys, with 32 megabytes of L2 cache, even though that is a significant improvement over the previous generation in terms of cache, and that definitely will help, unfortunately, I do believe that that small memory bus, as well as the small amount of memory, memory is going to make this a hard sell unless the price is really, really good. And knowing NVIDIA, the price probably won't be that good. But we can see here taking a look at these alleged benchmarks that apparently this thing, yes, it is actually slightly exceeding the GA104 in some tests. And apparently with a power draw of just 180 watts, that's going to put it significantly lower in terms of power draw versus the 3070 Ti. So honestly, guys, again, if this does come in at a good price, I think this could be an absolutely fantastic GPU, although I am going to say I think the price ceiling on this thing, considering that it has 8 gigabytes of VRAM, really does need to be around $400. If it's over $400, it kind of doesn't matter how fast it is, an 8 gigabyte graphics card in 2023 is going to age like milk, so it has to be very competitively priced, and it has to bring a ton of performance as well. If it doesn't do those two things, if they're asking for $450 even, or God forbid they go for $500, this thing is going to be dead on arrival because we have had 8 gigabytes for the longest time dating all the way back to the RX 580 and it is time to move on when it comes to the higher price points as at a certain point 8 gigabytes just isn't gonna cut it if you want to play your games on high settings but now let's go ahead and move on to the second bit of news here guys and this one is very very interesting it's a ton of stuff we got to talk about I'll try and get through it as quick as I can with you guys but it's also gonna be very important if you're looking for a video card in 2023 so definitely make sure to pay attention here but in any case this information actually comes from from Red Gaming Tech who has gotten a decent amount of information on AMD cards correct in the past. So I definitely think he has some sort of an inside source and he just released a ton of information on the upcoming GPUs from the AMD Red team. Now there's a ton of stuff to go over here and starting off with the Navi 32 GPUs, which could encompass stuff like the 7800 XT and 7700 XT, or at least that's what he's calling them. It looks like the 7800 XT could have 60 CUs, a 2.6 gigahertz game clock, up to 2.8 gigahertz boost, 16 gigabytes of memory running at 20 gigabits per second on a 256 bit bus, 64 megabytes of infinity cache, and a TBP of 280 watts. Then moving on to the RX 7700 XT, this one's apparently going to have 48 CUs, 2.4 GHz game clock, up to 2.6 GHz boost, 12 GB of memory, running at 20 gigabits per second on a 192-bit bus with 48 MB of cache and a TBP of 225 watts. So a significant reduction there. Now, in terms of performance, he's expecting the 7800 XT to perform around the 6950 XT or slightly slower than the RTX 4070 Ti. So that does sound about right in what I would expect. The 7700 XT, he's expecting to perform around the 6800 
or about on par with the 4070. So that's definitely very, very interesting stuff. Now, if I was to give you guys my thoughts, I think the 7800 XT has to come in at around $700 or lower if they want to sell it. And I'm just a little bit worried that they might not want to do that. But moving on now to Navi 33, and these are going to be the slightly more entry-level models. Here we're talking about the 7600 XT is apparently going to have 32 CUs, up to a 2.8 gigahertz boost, 8 gigabytes of memory running at 18 gigabits per second on a 128-bit bus, 32 megabytes of cache, and a TBP of 180 watts. Then we have the ARC 7600. This will probably be the budget value option for a lot of people. We got 28 CUs, a 2.3 gigahertz game clock, 2.6 gigahertz boost 8 gigabytes of memory running at 16 gigabits per second on a 128 bit bus with 32 megabytes of infinity cache and a tbp of 140 watts so here you can see unfortunately they still are sticking to 8 gigabytes and honestly guys i think it's time that we leave 8 gigabytes in the dust i think we either need to move to like 10 or 12 gigabytes or double it and move to 16 if you want to stick with a lower memory bus because 8 gigabytes is going to be cutting it going forward starting in probably 2023 there's probably going to be a lot of games where 8 gigabytes might not cut it if you want to run a little bit higher settings although that being said to be fair these are entry level GPUs so you might not be running higher settings anyway but I just feel like it would be a good move from AMD to give you more memory like they used to do in the past but in any case in terms of performance he's expecting the 7600 XT to perform around the 6650 XT so that's actually not that good although it could be as fast as the 6700 XT and then the 7600 apparently is going to be around 6600 XT to max of 6650 XT so let's hope that they actually hit their performance targets because they're going to have to come in with very aggressive pricing on these things and get the best performance they possibly can on launch with as few issues as possible if they want to move people over from team green to team red and honestly we definitely do need some more competition thankfully intel's coming in and cutting their prices as well so it definitely looks like we're getting more competition in the gpu market and this is going to be a hallelujah moment for a lot of people who are in the gpu market looking for a mid to entry level gpu as it's been just absolutely outrageously overpriced for far too long if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.